Hello everybody, this video I'm going to show you the feature of Konica Monota Fresco integration app which is Skydison have developed the feature for simulating the Fresco application in the Konica printer and if you have interested in our premium feature you can contact us at www.skydison.com and Fresco add-on so let's get started first you will see the first page of the tablet in the printer and it shows many functions you will see that it is the public and first you have to log in into the Fresco system by going to app right here and click it after that we go to logging in page first log in to the system with username and password and this is the first way to log in into the system and the second way is you can log in into the tablet printer by going to ID and select authentication method and write down your user and password and now we have the Skydison user right here which is the private user and the previous one is the public user and now we go to app again and go to the small icon right here the green one and I will go back and it will be turned into the SSO login Unfortunately, this is just the simulated version and we are under our development. And now we have exit the system. As you can see, this is the menu in the system like new for creating new further or scan document into the system. And personal files, which is your file, will be stored here and can manage here and file library which is it separate into two menu first is my libraries and favorite libraries and share which is um it will show the file that is shared from the Fresco system and recent files which is the new file that you have created will be shown here for 30 days and favorite you can add file into your favorite and stretch which is you can see the deleted file go back to personal file As you can see the folder I have created right here and inside the folder will be uh, the file and you can scan more file and click scan and it will show many uh, configurations such as uh, color which is you can change color type by other color full color and gray color and back color and scan size you can manage the size of the paper like inches metric size others and photo size for example click into photo size it will show four types and now you can select one resolution you can select resolution 200 dpi 300 dpi 400 dpi or 600 dpi and file type you can select between PDF, Compact, PDF, TIFF file and JPEG and duplex settings you can print it in one side of the paper or two side and file name it will be auto generated file name but you can write out name of the file and let's move to separate scan which is you can separate by enable and disable the separation and mix original you can turn it off set at same width and different width blank page removal you can enable and disable also original direction you can select the pattern of the direction like pattern 1, pattern 2, pattern 3 and pattern 4 and now uh, original type you can select only text or text with photo printed text with photo photo paper and text and only photo printed 
and photo paper, dot matrix original or copy paper and barcode and contract. Also, density, which is you can manage the light of the paper, which is minus mean more light and the plus mean more dark. Background removal, you can select the same as densities, the dark one or the light one. And now if you have finished all the configuration, you can go to scan to import the document into the system. And now press the printing button to scan document. It will auto generate the scan file and store it on Ofesco system. After that, we switch to the Ofesco system on browser. And as you can see, it already generated the file and we preview it. It shows the content of your scan file immediately. Okay, let's go to create the further by clicking new and create further. And now we have to write down the name of the further like um, for example and add the description and now we create it. After that we go inside and you can add more subfurder to create the structure of the further. And now we go back. If you want to manage more options of the further or um, the files, you can press home. It will show the options like download, edit, favorite, move, copy, and delete. I go to download. It will choose into the next page, which is you can select the printing or saving to the system. And now let's move to edit further, which is you can change the name or description and update to change the information. And you can add it as favorite. And now I click add favorite and it will show into the favorite side right here. And next. You can press the selected further and see the information right here by clicking the I icon and you will see the properties, name, title, creator, created date, modifier, modified it and you can add more information like author and description and now you can discard changes or save changes plus you can comment the further also and this small icon is also um, the manage icon and let's go inside the further again which is um, we keep the scanned document and you can press one of the document and hold it which it will show the management and now you can print download view the document and upload new version favorite move copy download and manage versions First I go to print, it will sh show to the next page, which is you can manage the printing. You can add many copies, like 8, 9 or more than 10, for example. And you can change color type into full color or back color. And paper tray, you can add it auto or bay pass tray 1 or tray 2. Paper size which is you can select the side of the paper and now duplex thing one or two sided combination you can turn it off or two in one horizontal or two in one vertical or four in one horizontal or four in one vertical and now click print if you finish off your configuration and next we go to download which is it is the same as the download option on further I have shown you. You can print it, view, and save it. And now we go to view, which is you can view the document on the system. And you can zoom out or zoom in. 
and set it at default to 100% and you can select the page which is it will show if there is a uh, more page and you can view it as full screen download print it see the information and more options right here okay let's get back and now you can upload new version by clicking new version and if you um, go to scan option or user box if scan it will show the page to manage the scanning document and now user box it will show the file that you want to change the version of this um, document now we close get back and the last one is manage version which is you can manage well, um, restore, download, or delete in each version of the document and okay let's move to searching the document files which we go to the top of the searching parameter and I will um, search some file for example and we search after that, we'll show the files like sky, and you can sort by relevance, file names, title, modify date, modifier, created date, size, type, and you can um, filter the search by site, by created date, by file type, and create the modifier location and modify date for example today this week this month and it's also support uh, many languages next you have to go to the small icon of the first character of your username that will be the language right here and change the language into for example Finns now we have the language or you want to change to Japanese it can also and all this of the system will be Japanese right here okay so that's all for the uh, multifunction in the system. So I will move to the um, administrator uh, configuration. So first I have to log out into the system by going to this icon again and sign out. And you will see the login page and go to this um, green icon and this is the administrator configuration of your administrator which is it will show the configuration like repository setting and application setting so I go to repository and it will show the FSCO URL right here and FSCO key and authentication type which is you can select the basic type or identity to service and you can manage your own uh, Fesco user and password manage it if it's not exist and available available language which is you can select more than one language to um, to be displayed in your keyboard and now application setting you can enable or disable the language picker right here and if you have done all of your configuration you can click apply or reset into default that's all for the function of the FSCO integration apps of Konica printer that Skadisian have developed it see you on the next video and thank you for watching